All right, a couple of announcements. Uh, then... From inside this church, Bishop Ma Mari Emmanuel's sermons attract huge crowds. If the Lord chose this day where he's showing his divine light, who am I to say no? When parishioners filled the church Monday night for Bible study, they bore witness as their bishop was stabbed. <laughs> The alleged assailant, a 16-year-old, was pinned down by churchgoers and police. What, people are praying you're going to come and do this? Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, you're going to do this? Just let go. Just go, please. You're going to make it worse. No, no, no. You're a fucking idiot. You're going to do The boy appears to grin as the melee unfolds. You think that hurt my brother? You think that hurt my girl? A clip of the alleged attack spreads online. Then word the teenager was still inside the church. Bring him out here! Bring him out here! Bring him out! 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 Soon the streets of Wakeley in Western Sydney are filled with hundreds of devotees, onlookers and police. Yeah, we came here after my mate sent me the video and um, it just kept getting worse and worse after that. Everything got vandalised, pubs, pub cars got vandalised, even the church got vandalised just because there are people were trying to get in and try and get the guy. Desperate to get inside the church, the crowd turns on the police. The police push back. I've just been pepper sprayed. I am burning on fire. It took me half an hour to. I'm on fire right now. My ears killing me. Went in my mouth, my nose, my eyes. But I didn't do anything. I was just in the crowd. See, now we're gonna get. We're gonna probably get hit. So we gotta go. So as you can see, there are riot police behind us. It's a really chaotic scene. We're about. I think a kilometre, 500, 600 metres from the church now. Looks like we have to move on again. They're pushing all the protesters this way. People are trying to get their cars from inside, but it's all blocked off now. Moving the crowd from the church does little to quell tensions. On the street, threats are made against Islamic places of worship. A chopper circles overhead. Onlookers told us they were drawn to the scene by their deep reverence for Bishop Emmanuel. I feel like a lot of people see him as like a father as well. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Even people that haven't met him, because he's actually like a lot of people know him because he's um, social media and everything. He means a lot to me because we all love him. He respects every other religion. I still don't understand why that other guy did that to our priest. He actually suffered for our sake. Another religious leader was injured at the church. He's only going to lead you to good pastor. Today, it was revealed paramedics had taken shelter inside. Bishop Emmanuel, now recovering, had recently warned his life was under threat. Look, I was, I was extremely excited when I heard that I have two weeks to live because I don't want to stay in this world and I, th I pray that the Lord takes me today before tomorrow. I want to be with him. This Bishop Emmanuel has made his name as a conservative firebrand. He rose to prominence during COVID, criticising lockdowns and vaccines and preaches anti-LGBTQ views. When a man calls himself a woman, he is neither a man nor a woman. You are not a human, then you are an it. His stabbing was soon declared a terrorist act. We believe there are elements that are satisfied in terms of religious uh, motivated extremism and of course the intimidation of the public through that person's acts. The teen has previously been charged for offences including possessing a knife. Faith leaders were quick to condemn Monday's alleged attack and the behaviour of the crowds. We are united. We, 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 we're all of one voice in the fact that we completely reject um, 
what happened last night, we all reject any kind of hate or violence done for whatever reason, whether it's religiously motivated or not. Um, we, we all, as far as we're concerned, what happened last night was not a, an act of religion, it was an act, it was a crime, it was a, an act of hate and needs to be responded to on, on those terms. This was the third high-profile stabbing in Sydney in almost as many days. A 16-year-old was charged with murder on Friday after allegedly stabbing teen brothers in Sydney's west. Let's get out of here. Six people died and a dozen more were injured at Bondi Junction on Saturday. A lot of people were concerned. They, they've seen the scenes from Bondi. They've seen members of the public chasing the assailants, trying to stop the assailant. Um, and I guess they didn't want a repeat of what happened in Bondi uh, right here. So that's what probably drove people over the edge last night. Tensions were still high when some followers returned to the scene today. This is what happened when we approached one follower who came to pay their respects. Do you know me? No. I don't know you and I've never seen you in the church and I'm there every single day. So don't talk on behalf of people. Don't talk on behalf of people. As Sydney tries to recover from a brutal week, leaders hope the city can unite. In Australia there is no justification for any kind of violence or hate on the basis of religion and, and all of the religions are united on that point. That's why many people come to Fairfield, they flee terrorism, they come here for a better life and to have this happen, we expect to have that safe environment.